Okay, this is Dream Chronicles 2, The Eternal Maze. And for some reason, my Fraps doesn't record the cutscenes, so that'll just completely be out of there. So I think there's a cutscene right away. So I'll see you at the first part where you actually get to play, okay? Alright. This is the first screen that you can play on. Okay, basically what the cutscene said was Lilith, the fairy queen of dreams, has kidnapped your husband Fidget and cursed your daughter Lyra with sleep and she and Lilith put you in this prison. Now with this game you have to look it's like a hidden object. See I pick up a hammer. And then it's in your inventory. Or as I'll probably say, inventory, because I've always said it that way. I have no idea why. Ooh, look at this, a book popped up. The plants, they're speaking to me. And they say, you must take the book from this place. Find a way to break the glass. Well, since I found this handy dandy hammer, let's smash it. Hit the glass. As I break the glass, I hear a familiar voice say, Thank goodness, child. If you can hear me, then my plants have done their work. Faye, you must rescue Fidget. Take the book. I can use it to communicate with you. Okay, that was a very awkward voice. But I take the book. Picked up Abel's diary. Abel, you'll meet him later. Anyway, I click on this little wall. And the door will open for some strange reason. And this is what the game is famous for. Your path will close. I've grown used to seeing strange things recently. Hmm, a tree that sheds its bark, revealing the shapes of animals. I think I understand. Basically, you have to look around for all of the things. Ooh, you found a dream jewel. Each dream jewel can answer a question for you. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. You have to find these little or dream pieces right here. And it fills up the dream jewel. And then you have to uh, meditate, I think it's called. It's, yeah, it's something weird like that. And you can uh, solve the puzzle that's on it. I almost put a squirrel in where a bird was supposed to be. Good lord. When you do this, this is just basic. Abel's voice sighs through the leaves of the tall tree. The tree of truth is still not whole. You place the bar correctly to escape this chamber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is just standard uh, Dream Chronicles puzzles. Excuse me. Oops, where is it? Oh. Good lord, just fit it yourself. And then the door will open, eventually. If I miss any dream pieces, or, yeah, dream pieces, I apologize. Here we go again with this stuff. I can't see everything. I have, oh, sorry. Abel's voice shimmers up from the small plants in the pool. Faye, this is the water chamber. You must solve the wall puzzles before you can cross the reflecting pool. There's a dream piece right here. Dream jewel, my bad. There's little dream pieces everywhere. Ooh, meditate. Okay. What lies beyond the walls of the dream prison? I know what it is. Outside the prison walls lies the place where the fairies originated. And some of these, well this one was really easy, but some of these are really really hard and I'm not going to read that because you don't need to know it to be able to win the game. So I'll just collect my dream pieces. Then you got, I'll do the easy one first. Oh crap, I never looked, I think it was like 327 when I started. This is a standard puzzle. Um, there are many of these. This whole game deals with puzzles. Where? What? Oh god, just 
click on it. Good lord. Oh my gosh. This is the easiest one of the three that you have to do. Actually, the third one is actually easier, I think, if you do it the right way the first time. This one's a little more difficult since there's just pieces scattered everywhere. I like to collect the easier one. Those are in the right places. What the heck? You can't say that was wrong. Good lord, that was in the right place. Ah, sweet monkey Jesus, I'm telling you. I'm going to pick up the rest of them, because you can only have a certain number in your inventory. I still want to say inventory. I know it's not the way you say it, but I say it that way. I don't know why I say it that way. I think it originated with, uh, oops, when I played The Sims, and I didn't know how to pronounce it. And I said inventory, and then I mentioned it to one of my friends, and like, why are you saying inventory? That's not how you say that and all this junk. I don't know. Whatever. Abel's voice sounds crystal clear. Faye, you must choose your path to the other side carefully. But don't be frightened. I'll make sure you're not harmed if you make a mistake. I swear, his vo I change his voice every time. With this, you... Oh, there's a dream piece. You click every other one, like left, right, left, right, until this one. This one's the first one and then it goes back. I don't know why it does that. Abel tells me the door has a magic lock to escape this ch Yeah, you get it. It's a puzzle. I really hate this one. Mostly because it's different than it was before and I'm totally gonna mess it up and fail completely. And I did. There is a really easy way to do it. And, oh, no, go back to the way I had it. Oh, Lord. Good Lord, I'm just making this so much harder than need be. Oh, stop. There we go. Depending on, I think it changes differently. Ch what? What the hell did I just say? Okay, hurry up and light my path so I can go out the door. Abel's voice whispers up from the grassy ground. This is the ancient's place, one of the oldest places in the fairy realms. You must use the stones to unlock the doors, but not every stone will be used. Uh, pretty much it will. Okay, these molds are very important. These things are very important. Um, dream pieces are, of course, very important. I picked up a rock. Here's another rock. There's another rock. And there's another rock. I've completed another dream jewel. How would a mortal like me be trapped in the ancient's place? Fairies do not want the mortal world to know about their secret ways of life. I done did it. And I will have complete problems with those in the near future. These you can't pick up yet. You need them eventually. But you can't pick them up yet. Okay, where, where's my rocks? Open this one first. Because you obviously picked up circular little stones here. And I think I opened it the wrong way last time. I don't I don't remember. I probably did and it didn't work. Abel tells me this stone printing machine was built by the ancients. It has been used to print stones with symbols or even books. You must attach two dented wheels and a handle to make it work. After attaching a mold, you can print shapes on a stone. I know how this works. That's a rock! I want it! Fine, just give me the dream pieces. I miss these completely. I've only- I've played this through this, I think, twice. 
And I don't... Oh, there's a dream jewel. I don't remember everything. But I remember most of it. It goes up there somewhere! Oh, no, this one goes here. What?! Fine, I'll put the freaking crank on it. Good lord! Fine, I'll just randomly click until it goes in there. Anyway, put the mold in there, and then you put a regular thing there. You pull the crank. And then you get a square thingy. It's probably been just about 10 minutes, if not over. I don't remember what time I started. I really need to remember what I'm doing. Okay, now that you got that, the thing disappears, and then you come back out here, and you put another rock there. To open that one, and then you put another rock here to open the square one. Ah, squares, squares, squares. Oops. Make sure you put the squares into the squares. Ah, now let me in. Hurry up and disappear, machine. What's wrong with you? Oh, I had to click. My bad. My bad, screen. Okay. Abel's voice rings out from the trees. And my cat just fell off the window, so... <laughs> oh, if I ever get my hands on that meddling little pixie, Lilith has dismantled this machine and hidden the parts I cannot read today. You'll need to fix it so you can print the metal pieces that you'll find as molds. Faye, I can see your house from Russia. I mean, through that crystal ball. Lyra, she's not there. Okay. Um, this is probably where I'm going to stop it. I'll come back to this screen. Um, so, I'll see you then. Have a great day.